Hi everyone, I'm out at my local park and I'm doing an experiment. I got the F75 out today and I thought I am going to dig every pull tab signal that I find and see if I can't find a piece of jewelry. I just had like a 23, 24 signal and you can see what I dug here. I hope you can see. It's a 1902 V nickel. Let me flip that thing over. I think maybe you'll be able to see the V. There you go. So I'm really glad to have that. I'm gonna keep trying this experiment and see if I can't find a gold ring or something. All right. Just found this uh, bluish marble. It looks like it's got a chip on it, but uh, I don't care. I don't find many marbles. Glad to have it. Hey guys, I'm out in the park again with the uh, F75 using my same strategy. I want to dig every low signal I can find and hopefully I'll find some jewelry. I just had a higher signal, about a 76 and about six inches deep. I got myself what I know to be a silver dime. There we go, a Merc. Looks like maybe a uh, a 44. All right. Hi fellow diggers, it's Monday, September 26th. And I want to show you my um, finds for my last three hunts. I did three hunts each an hour long and I'm doing an experiment. I'm using my F75 and I'm digging nothing, basically nothing but low tones. I'm looking for jewelry. Well, I'll show you what I found. As you can see, I've got a pile of um, pull tabs, rivets, little pieces of aluminum. I did have a surface fine Callaway golf ball. Got three shotgun shell head stamps. Uh, found a marble. It's, it's chipped on the other side, but I'm still happy to have that. Found three buttons, nothing fancy, one's got an anchor. Found this really cool um, electrical plug. It looks like maybe something, it looks to me like something like from the 30s or 40s. It's pretty ornate. You can see the inside of it there. I think that's pretty cool. I really like that. And then over here, I've got just a small amount of clad. I did have a 73 signal, a higher tone signal, and I dug it in about four inches deep. I did pull up a 44 mercury dime, and I had a 23-24 signal, and you can see the V on the back. I got myself a V nickel. I'll flip it over for you, if I can find it. There we go. And you can see, if I stop shaking, it's a 1902. So that's my experiment. I'm going to stay along those lines for a few more hunts and see if I can come up with anything. But um, I appreciate you all watching. And let me know if you have ever done anything like this. Searched entirely for jewelry and dug all the low tones and ended up with anything other than that. Thanks for watching, everyone.